from Divine Visions. Welcome to all new and existing subscribers. I'm glad that you could be with me today. I just want to give a big thank you to all of you for your lovely supportive comments. You, I love your good vibes, guys, and you're so lovely to each other as well. Thank you to those also leaving financial blessings. You don't know how much it is appreciated. It is so kind of you, and it really helps me to buy the things I need for these readings. So thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. So also, if anyone else would like to give a divine donation or donate a deck of cards, you'll find the links below in the description box. Thank you so much. It's not expected, but would be awesome. So guys, let's get started. We've got divine messages from your divine masculine today. What is he currently feeling for you? What does he actually want to share with you about how he's feeling towards you right now and the connection? We're going to be looking at some beautiful love messages, but we're also going to be looking at both sides today. What he might be undergoing as in challenges, what he wants from the connection, what he's actually really feeling deep within himself that uh, you may be unaware of. So we're going to get started. I've got four cards in front of you. The first card is the Psychic Tarot by John Holland. Number one, we've got the Lightseer's Tarot by Chris Ann. We've got the Mythic Tarot by Liz Green and Juliet Sharman Burke, I think it is. And we've got the Psychic Tarot for the Heart Reading 4 by John Holland. So one, two, three, and four. I'll give you a moment to focus on the cards. Hi guys, welcome to reading number one. So this is what you chose for the Psychic Tarot. We're going to have a quick look first up what the main energy is that your Divine Masculine, what is he sitting in right now? What's his main energy? What is the overview energy? This is basically the overview of his energy. Okay, let's get a look. What's happening with him? What's he sitting in, please? What's the main energy? we got freedom. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. This is really awesome. So we might be letting go of something. I'm just going to stop this for a moment. Just wanted to put the flash on. I think it's a bit better that way. So you are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. Let's have a look at what's going on with this regarding... The tarot right here for this divine masculine what does this actually mean for him right now please this is the divine masculine reading number one all right they came flying out didn't they we've got this one and this one very interesting indeed Okay, guys, I just had to muck around with it just because it's a new layout and I'm just getting my feel for this kind of layout that I want to do. So basically um, what's happening is your Divine Masculine's in a place of solitude right now. This is the Hermit card and he could be going within and really trying to um, free himself from his self-limiting beliefs right now. So it's actually quite a positive, even though this card, the Eight of Wands, is reversed positive movement forward um, is showing that it's not necessarily a positive movement forward at this stage because at the moment he's not moving forward he's not doing anything but staying within himself right now going within right now that's what he's doing um, could be a Virgo you're dealing with but he's he's really um, I feel a positive energy with this I really do I feel like He's working on himself, but still acquiring this wisdom within. We've got the Hierophant, which is the Taurus energy. So we've got a lot of earthy energy right here, which means he's probably trying to ground himself right now in his space of solitude. Um, so he's not necessarily wanting to listen to other people's advice right now. I feel like he's really trying to go within and, and seek out his own intuition through this as well. But he's still at this same time um, not acquiring or hasn't yet acquired the wisdom he needs to actually emerge and move forward, okay? 
So that's something he's still undergoing right now. Um, so let's have a look then at any current challenges or blocks preventing him from coming forward. So what are the actual blocks um, that are preventing him from coming forward? We do see that he is undergoing some kind of, maybe some kind of um, self-analysis right now. He is going through a space of reflection, introspection, and it could be not just about this connection, but he's trying to learn about himself, where his values stand, um, what he believes in, that kind of thing as well. It could be that, you know, since this connection, he's trying to understand what it means, what it means for him. Is it aligning with his values? Why is he feeling, um, you know, he might have thought a certain, he might have been stuck in a certain way of thinking around this and he's coming into this freedom now of having some epiphanies perhaps um, whilst he's undergoing this um, space of uh, being alone. So let's have a look then at the current challenges that are preventing him from coming forward. We're going to take a look at what is causing, what is, um, what is preventing him? What is the main core issue right now? Why has he gone within, you know? Why has he felt the need to go within and maybe even withdraw from the connection? That might be what this is. What's preventing him from coming forward? Got elevation. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. At the moment, he's probably not in a very um, high energy, you know, the uh, elevation, elevated energy. It's um, What am I trying to say there? It's like he's not vibrating at a high frequency is what I'm trying to say. At the moment, he might be in a low vibration. So when he's, when he's um, withdrawing, he really is going through a serious type of uh, energy change. And he's trying to understand and reflect and look within. So he's not in a place to be able to really come forward to you. He's not yet, um, as I said, had that epiphany or enlightenment. He hasn't yet got the answers or the wisdom um, to move into this elevation and sometimes when we do actually come forward um, you know when we have when we have clarity on a situation we do feel like a burden has been lifted and we're not um, you know sunk down in it we're not drowning in our emotions we're not um, bogged down by all this all these questions and confusion. So that's what this is about, is that he doesn't yet have the answers. He's not um, vibrating at a very high frequency right now. He's still maybe in a bit of a dark place. It's not a bad... I don't feel like he's in a really, really bad place, but at the moment he's just withdrawn. So let's have a look then. What is... We're going to have a look at the tarot as to... Um, you know, what is preventing him from coming forward? Oh my God, guys. Nine of swords, suffering in silence. Oh my God. There's another nine. He really is on his own. He really is trying to sort this out on his own. New beginnings, the full card. And the passion ignited. Yeah, okay. He's not feeling a huge spark in his soul right now. This is the Ace of Wands, this is the Fool, and this is the Nine of Swords. So in his mind space right now, he is trying to work through his issues. He might be staying up late at night, he might find it hard to sleep. His, most of his thinking is done at night, and he's trying to wade through all those negative thoughts and feelings right now. It's almost like he's trying to compartmentalize um, what the negatives are and the positives and how he feels about himself and what's negative and what's positive within himself. And he really is um, trying to see the bigger picture, see how she's on this um, cliff face or wherever she is there and she's looking out into the horizon at the, the golden light and it's like coming out from that place of darkness and that's where he's at. He can um, perhaps have some revelation where he can see where he wants to be but he's yet not sure how to get there because he wants to jump in with trust. He does want a new beginning, it feels, with you. Um, but these are the challenges he's, he's coming up against is that he perhaps doesn't um, feel that spark right now. He is kind of like in that place of withdrawing, looking within, reflecting, maybe needing this um, passion to start igniting you know, when it elevates, um, 
this energy within him it's when he's going to have that clarity so when he actually has that full wisdom coming in he's going to start his spirit will start to elevate he'll start feeling that ignition of passion again but at the moment he's kind of like a bit stone cold um, going within and really just in his mind space maybe feeling a little numb we're going to have a look at what's coming up with this as well shadow self oracle <clears throat> So this is the Divine Shadow Self Oracle that I created. Just going to have a look at what's mostly going on in this space where he is right now. In his um, time of suffering and silence, what is he actually feeling? What's he going through? What is he going through? Oh, there's one. Oh, there they are. So, oh, he might be getting drunk. You know, this... this Divine Masculine might be self-medicating uh, through his space in silence right here. And there might be some very selfish energy coming through. And this is his challenges right here. And, some, and if he's not a drinker, if you know absolutely 100% sure that your Divine Masculine does not drink, this is just basically his emotions and his mind space because you can imagine that if you've ever been drunk you'll know what it feels like to be drunk and you're 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 not seeing clearly you're not thinking clearly and it's like you're in a completely different dimension to what other people are in um so you can imagine also if you've been sober and you've also come across people around you who are drunk they're not acting in their right mind and he's he might be coming across as quite selfish and because he has to be, he has to be selfish at this time to uh, elevate his spirit, to go within and reflect and try and, and try and grow within himself, try and suss out how he can come to the end of this cycle within himself that is perhaps self-destructive in some ways. What does he want to say to you from his shadow self, from this place of uh, his shadows? What does he want to actually come forward and say to you? This is um, my divine yin-yang oracle that I created for lovers, messages of shadow and light. So let's have a look at what his shadow self wants to say. I've got one here. My inner child is damaged from childhood wounds. So this has definitely caused something within himself. Maybe there's been a trigger in this connection for him or he can't enter this relationship with you because he knows there's work to do and he might be feeling really um, torn because on one hand he wants to jump in with you and he wants to have that passion ignited but he knows there's these issues that are getting involved uh, in the way right here. So let's see what he needs to surrender to right now. What does your divine masculine need to surrender to? So we've got the surrender cards here. I've just got my paper next to me because I've written out a complete format <laughs> for this one today. What does your divine masculine need to surrender to today? Well, not today, but <laughs> currently. Okay, he needs to surrender frustration. So it says... Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. So we do see in this picture right here, it just reminded me that there's a door. She's come out from one door about to embrace a whole new path. Um, but, you know, a new door won't open until he is going within and centering himself and regrouping himself and really and that looks like what that's what is he, what he is doing so that's a good thing so he does need to surrender the frustration and try and look at it as a lesson that he's you know he has to undergo this it's inevitable that he undergoes this and it doesn't have to be a negative as such we all have our shadows we all have our um you know stuff from childhood we all have stuff that we carry and it doesn't have to necessarily be a really um massive negative thing it depends on how we perceive it i guess too depends on our on our spiritual journey how far we've come to be able to look at it from a higher perspective and see the lessons that it brings now let's see what he desires from this connection what does he actually desire from this connection with you what does he actually desire from this connection with 
this divine feminine please what does he desire from this connection with you oh this is beautiful he wants comfort he he misses you it feels like he he really wants you by his side he misses that you kept him um safe it feels like that there was this beautiful energy between the two of you when you'd sit by each other or you know lay side side by side you know and i feel like he felt very safe he felt comfortable around you and it says here lean back into the arms of grace let go and let god and that's what he misses is that you held those arms of grace for him and that's what he really really desires again is to be with you in that space and that's just so beautiful so when he's in this space right now going into his solitude knowing he has to be alone he's thinking of you at night and and wishing you the, that you were there by his side right there so what does his higher self want to say to you in this space right now then what does his higher self want to say this is his 5d self guys so when he's you know at his up, utmost um positive what is he thinking when he's thinking beautifully about this connection what's his higher self want to say what does his higher self want to say please there's too many that came out what does he want to say oh that flew out flew right out i can see clearly now so when he thinks about you in this space of being comf like wanting to be comforted by you, it's like he can see clearly what he needs. We did see this card before where she's overlooking into the horizon. She knows what she wants to um, you know, move forward towards but just doesn't have the answers on how to just yet. It might be a timing issue, but he knows that he wants to be in your arms. He knows this. There's quite a few came out with this one. I have healed my broken heart. So he's healing his broken heart. I'm undergoing an inner transformation. Please be patient with me. We did see that. And when we lock eyes, we see each other's soul. It is beautifully intense. Yeah, right there. That is gorgeous. So that's what he desires with you right now. So let's have a look then. Um, what is his? What does his higher self, when he's shining in his light, we're going to have another look at another message here with my new divine radiant self oracle this is my cute little mini deck um so when he's shining in his high you know higher self his light self and feels positive about this connection this is pretty much in line with this one as well what else does he want to say if he could come forward and tell you what he is right now um about himself that one flew out i am growing oh my god <laughs> Look how little they are. I am growing, he says. This is so true. He is spiritually growing right now and he wants to be the best he can be for you. That's what it feels like. Um, I am focused and I am sensual. So he's coming into this softer energy right now instead of this extroverted kind of um, divine masculine who's kind of aggressive in his nature and really passionate and putting it out there he's not doing that he's he's focusing on his sensuality right now and he's growing in this time of introspection and trying to get in touch with his emotions right now that's what he's doing um, so that is just so beautiful and um, let's see what else we got here Well, that flew out, far out. Wow, guys, regret but hope remains. He's releasing blame. He's releasing any blame that he might have, you know, he might have projected onto you and he might regret this now, but he knows that there's hope still that remains there. He can feel it, even if you have never told him. He just feels that there's hope for this connection, which I feel is why he's also going within and taking that uh, action right now of going within. Okay. So we've got beautiful messages from the White Rose Guidance cards. Let's have a look at what else he wants to say to you. What else does he want to say to you? I tried to stop these feelings, but now you are burning hotter and brighter than ever within me. Beautiful. He's starting to, he really does feel your energy. Um, thank you for your beautiful light and energy in my life. This is so gorgeous. So it's like, once again, you are the light. Where's this card? 
You are the light that he can see from afar. But he knows that he yet he can't yet come towards you. And my entire being and body is attracted to you. So he is definitely wanting to come towards you. He's feeling that magnetic attraction and passion burning in his soul. Um, but at the same time, he doesn't yet have the passion ignited or inspiration right now on coming forward, even though he's feeling this in his space of silence and solitude. Um, he's craving, he desires that closeness. Yeah, even though he knows he can't right now. Okay, so one, we're going to do some last messages here. Okay, so it says, I am currently working on becoming the best version of myself. Oh my God, guys. Is this so in line or what with what's going on here? I want you to be happy. How beautiful is that? So he's, you know, we saw how he's kind of like going into a selfish energy, but I don't feel like it's really bad. I feel if anything, he needs to go into it. He needs to be a bit selfish at the moment so he can go within and do his work. But at the same time, he's thinking of you and wanting you to be happy. So what else can he, does he want to say? Last message, please, angels. What else does he want to say to you? There it is. Oh, I feel really bad. Yeah, he does. He feels really bad that he's made you feel pushed out. And perhaps he did, you know, as we saw before, put that blame onto you. Um, so he does feel really bad how his actions have caused you pain. But, you know, guys, this is where he's at. He's working on himself, which is just awesome. So that is your message, guys. I hope that's resonated with you and given you some clarity as to where your divine masculine is at right now and, and now and what he wants to share with you. If that's resonated, please comment below, like and subscribe, and I'll connect with you guys next time. Hi guys, if you chose reading number two, we're going to have a look at what's going on with your Divine Masculine and what messages he'd like to share with you right now currently. What is he feeling for you right now? What is he currently feeling deep within his soul for you right now? Get a main energy. Well, there it is. Came out quite fast vision no matter what you see the bigger picture of a loving just universe so you might be seeing things from a bigger perspective right now we're just going to have a look at what's going on what's happening with this divine masculine's current energy please right now <clears throat> got the emperor reversed we've got the strength card reversed And we've got, wow, we've got the King of Wands reversed also. Very strong Aries energy here. And Leo, wow. Very fiery energy going on here, guys. I just want to get an idea of what's going on here, okay? Okay, so he's not necessarily in a very um, extroverted, aggressive kind of energy here. He's not standing really strong. He's not standing strong in his power right now. Yeah, um... Because the emperor is someone who comes in with um, power. He knows exactly what he wants. He stands strong. He can be about the law, authoritarian kind of energy. Someone who knows exactly where they, what they want and where they stand and they build their empire. And they're the king of you know all kings. It could be a father figure role here as well. But we look at the knight of, what is it, the king of wands here. Also the Leo energy and the Leo energy here as well which is all about strength we got the gentleness of the lamb here too and it's like that lion heart you know coming in got the infinity symbol he's not standing in his power he's not feeling um, like he's giving a lot of um, passion to this connection right now perhaps he doesn't feel like he's in the right place right now to stand strong he's too busy trying to be a visionary <laughs> 
So he's trying to see the bigger picture of a loving world. But even in this connection, he's trying to see the bigger picture. So he might be moving himself back from this extroverted, aggressive drive and coming into a more passive role right now so he can see um, this bigger vision because there's not a lot of emotion going on here. There's not, not really much grounded energy going on here either. And also, we haven't got the air. We haven't got air signs. Can I get some more... I'm going to get a clarifier with some of these, I think. just want to um, suss out a little bit more what's going on with the Emperor, please. Because the Emperor usually has a, a big vision. So it could be the opposite way around that I'm reading this because usually the Emperor holds the world and, he, and in other decks he has a, like an eagle, I think it is, with him which shows that higher perspective. He can see the bigger picture and he has to because he has to overlook um, everything in his life that he's worked hard towards or people that might work for him. It's kind of like at the moment this Divine Masculine may not be necessarily seeing the bigger picture. He might be trying to. What's with the Emperor? Oh, gosh. The Emperor is the moon. Oh, my gosh. And strength again. He's trying to see. This is all about confusion and the hidden world and mystery. And he's trying to see the bigger picture right here, but he has to go within also. So he's finding it that he has to be emotionally strong right now because he doesn't have the power. Because he's not strong... Wow, this is just amazing how this is coming out, like right here. The Wheel of Fortune, Turn in Destiny. Okay, I want to get another card, I think, with this, because I'm just feeling like I'm blocked from this. I don't know why. I don't know why it's blocking. It feels like I'm, maybe it's because I can't see. <laughs> he can't see, so I can't see. It's really weird. It's like I'm finding, it's like the feeling I get is that I'm, I've got energy and I want to do things and I want to move forward and I want to get things done, but I just, something's forcing me to sit back. And this is what he's doing. Something's forcing him to stop and stop being the masculine, going out and taking action and doing things and building things and creating things and mastering things. He's got to stop, go within. And true strength isn't always about going out there and doing things and being strong, you know, in the world. It's about also going within and being emotionally strong, holding back. Having control. That's what this is. Yeah. Forgiveness was reversed coming out. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release hurts, past hurts. He's um, trying to see or needs to see a vision. He needs to see the bigger picture on how to do this, but he has to do it through feeling. So it's not necessarily... I think that this divine masculine likes to be busy. Perhaps he needs to be busy in his life. And um, the tables have turned. Something's happened right now, perhaps even in the connection where it's forced him to take a step back, forced him to check himself, you know, check his ego, pride, all that stuff. Because the Leo is all about, Leo the lion is pride. It's all about um, being strong, being the king of the jungle. And he's got no choice now but to sit back and... and come into humility right now and look within at his own heart and soul and where he can tap into that forgiveness right now and see the bigger picture when it comes to your feelings as well so this is damn interesting guys it's like all of a sudden when I was tapping into this it just felt so slow I felt blocked and now it's just suddenly like the t the the wheel just was like a spanner was in the works like the wheel would not turn but then all of a sudden this energy just came through and I could see it clearly so it's like he has no choice but to stop and go within and find his inner strength, guys. That's where it is. So let's have a look at his current challenges. What's preventing him from coming forward? What is causing that energy? So let's have a look. What's causing all that? What's preventing him? What are his current challenges, please? This is reversed. Patience, you are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. He's impatient right now. He doesn't have patience. He wants to be on the ball and go, 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 right? That's what's happening with him is uh, he has impatience. So this is what's happening. Perhaps he wants to get things done in his life. He wants to build himself up maybe in the material world um, also. 
let's have a look at the tarot. Yep, let's have a look at this. <clears throat> let's just have a look at what this is to do with. Oh, yeah, he can't jump in. He wants to jump in. Let's have a look. What's going on? Oh, the world reversed. And the Page of Swords. He wants to learn. And this is the Watcher too. This is someone who spies on you. <laughs> I feel, you know what's really weird? I feel like he's got a lot of passion for you, this Divine Masculine. And it's like he, he just can't wait to get things done. He wants to come forward to you. It's almost like he's holding back all this passion because he's had no choice but to. And the full reverse shows a lack of trust or that there's things blocking him from coming forward with the full. Um, maybe he hasn't got enough um, uh, information yet to come forward. He's impatient. Maybe he's trying to find out where you're at right now in your in your world, right? In your world, in your life right now. He feels like his world's turned upside down because he can't move and, and he's becoming impatient. I just want to see what the clarifiers are with the fool <laughs> the knight of wands is that passion coming through oh my god he's so passionate we got the knight of wands and the king of wands you know that came up he definitely wants to come charging towards you but he knows he can't maybe there's maybe you've closed the door for now or the cycle is just it come to well it hasn't come to an end because the world is still reversed he knows this chapter's not over with you, but maybe there's been some communication blockages here um, or you just haven't really opened that door to him. Um, the Nine of Pentacles reversed, yeah. I mean, he might not be really focusing on himself too much. Nine of Pentacles is someone who really works on themselves and they're independent. He's not really um, tapping into that emotional independence even because we did see before he's blocked from coming forward um, he is not strong enough to come forward to you emotionally. He's not emotionally strong. Still got some growing to do. Seven of Cups. Oh, my God. This is all about the daydreams and the fantasies and seeing things through rose-colored glasses. And this is how he's doing this right now. He's, he's observing you from afar. He's fantasizing about you. He's um, trying to get more information on what's going on in your life so that he knows what he can work with. That's basically what's going on here. But he feels blocked. Maybe you've blocked him on social media. Um, some of you might resonate. doesn't have to be everybody. Um, but there is this feeling of him not being able to reach you uh, for whatever reason right now. <clears throat> you might be off doing things on your own world. Um, you might have told him to get his act together and, and you know, work on himself, etc. But that's what's going on. So let's have a look at the Shadow Self Oracle. Just want to see, this is the ones I created, Divine Shadow Self Oracle. What's going on with this Divine Masculine, please, regarding this stuff? Oh, my goodness. So he, um, oh, my God. He, oh, my God, this is so bizarre. See this? See this? The Emperor Reverse can be very, very angry and can also be explosive. They're not a true leader. He's not a true leader at this stage. So he's holding his energy within, he's becoming impatient, he's becoming explosive. So at the moment, what's going on, yes, he has a lot of passion, but it could also show that he wants that passion to explode into the connection as well. He's holding it back a lot. He's holding back a lot of stuff going on here. Can we get another one, please? And he's going through a lot of anxiety at the moment as well. So that's that swords energy right there. Um, he might be in a little bit of an immature energy when it comes to communication or how he communicates. Can we see a shadow? What does he want to say? What does he want to say to this divine feminine in this space that he's in right here? Because he's not seeing reality. He's not in tune with reality just yet. We saw that he didn't have the higher vision because emperors have a vision for the future. He doesn't have a vision right now for this connection. He doesn't know where to go with it. He just has this passion and sexual drive, you know, towards it, definitely. All right. Oh, look, I miss you so much right now. This is what's going on. He misses you. He misses you and he's probably angry that he can't be with you right now. Oh, my God. So let's have a look then. What does he need to surrender to? What does this divine masculine need to surrender to, please? 
What does he need to surrender? Surrender to the wisdom of your body. So listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. And this is the thing. I feel like he has conflicting feelings when it comes to you. On one hand, he wants to charge forward. He has all this passion for you. And then on the other hand, it's almost like, um, yeah, I want to I want to get another one. On the other hand, it feels like he's angry at you. He's impatient. And, and it might be that some of you did close him off. You might have uh, closed that door and walked away and he feels like a boy, a little boy in trouble, you know, that kind of thing. Surrender to what is, flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it will bring you peace. Now, accept it for what it is. So this is the thing, he's not accepting this for what it is. I feel like, I definitely feel like a lot of you have closed the door to this until he gets his act together. Feels like he's like contantrum, like a little child sometimes when he doesn't get his own way. And that might be that explosive energy. If you can imagine a child just screaming and getting angry and stamping their foot or throwing something. I feel like this divine masculine can do that. So surrender to miracles. Be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. So he's starting to really become impatient. He's not seeing the end result. He doesn't believe that, you know, in his time or mind space of being really um, negative, he might think it's going to take a miracle to win you back. Yeah, okay. So what does he desire from the connection? What does he actually really desire with you? I see a lot of passion there going on. Mixed feelings going on here. What does he desire with you? What does he actually desire? Oh, what does he desire from this connection, please? Oh, look. He desires this partnership. And look, it's a, sh a knight in shining armor. <laughs> And he's wearing red for the passion. I wouldn't be surprised if you're dealing with a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. But it's someone very passionate for you. He wants to be close to you and have you in his arms again. Yeah, he wants to protect you. He wants to come in and be that leader. Be that strong divine masculine. So God speaks to us through people. We are ambassadors of grace for one another. And he wants to share this as in a partnership is equal. So he doesn't want to come in and um, be domineering in this connection if he was before he wants the healing to be there and the harmony um, so and love messages yeah let's see what else comes up with this I'm sorry that this is how things turned out oh my goodness yeah that's right he is he's very sorry but he's also probably pissed off with himself too at the same time so Okay, what, what, um, oh yeah, we want the higher self, do we? Yeah, the higher self, yin yang messages. Here we go. So, from his higher self, what does he want to say to you? From his higher self, his 5D self, what does he want to say? I'm ready to face the truth with courage now. Oh my God. We did see this uh, card right here. Where is it? We saw this card, Strength, reversed, which is the lion energy for courage. Oh, my God. So he's trying. He's letting you know that he's ready to face the truth with courage. He wants to. Because this passion, I feel, is so strong that he wants to come forward. So what is his higher self also, his radiant self? Because we do have a radiant self in spirit as well. When we're shining, this is my divine radiant self uh, oracle deck. It's the mini one. So what does he want to come forward to and say to you from his higher self, his radiant self? Uh, if he was shining in his divine light, you know, self and feeling positive about the connection, what does he want to say? What does he want to say to this di divine feminine? <laughs> I think he's got a lot to say because they all just fell on the damn floor. Hang on a minute, guys. All right. So what we got, I'm just going to do it again. What does he want to say to you? There we are. Ooh, I am magnetic. 
Oh, he's letting you know that he is like feeling this magnetic attraction with you and that he feels this pull. I am genuine. He wants you to know he's coming from a genuine place. I am transparent. Once again, genuine and transparent. What I tell you is the truth. I'm not lying to you. Because I feel like um, they might have manipulated some things in the past or, or may have lied to you. He's letting you know that he's genuine and transparent right now. And I am brave. Oh, yeah. He wants to fight this. Whatever the negatives are, he wants to face them um, head on. Okay. So let's have a look then at um, the Divine Love Oracle. Oh, he knows that you're sad. What is he saying about this? He knows the Divine Feminine is sad right now. And I think it hurts him that you're sad. And he's, wow, look at this sacred sexuality as well. He's feeling this with you. And it's not just sex for him. Like it might have felt like that in the past. But there's definitely a very strong twin flame, you know, feeling here where the sexual passion together, your, your souls merge together. He's missing that. What else do we have here from... The messages here. What else is going on? I love you. I hate you. I can't live without you. Oh my God. This is that on off hot cold energy guys. Seriously. And it's almost like perhaps when he is very frustrated and angry. It could be sexual frustration for him as well. Did see. I think it said surrender frustration didn't it? Or is that the other one? Oh, no, that's another one. Sorry. But this is the sexual frustration that's occurring within him. I love you. I hate you. I can't live without you. I need to be in your arms. We need to be together sexually. We need to be close. I always hope to have you in my life. Yeah. And what's this one say? You are my rose. Oh my God, that's gorgeous, that is. So you are my rose. He sees you as this beautiful rose. Um, that's, you know, delicate as well and beautiful, but also has thorns. <laughs> so he loves it about you too because you don't put up with his crap. You are beautiful and attentive and he admires your beauty. He really does. What else does he want to say? What's the last message here? We've got two. Our last conversation haunts me. And the heart wants what it wants. So this divine masculine is so serious about you. He's very passionate about you. He knows he's got some things to sort out. He's very impatient. Um, yeah, wants this partnership with you. Definitely wants this with you guys. The heart wants what it wants. So he's not happy if you've shut him out. He's not happy. He's not standing for that. He wants this to work. And um, you might have him, you know, texting you quite often or whatever it might be. Oopsies. He's going to get these last messages. I didn't choose one of these, I don't think. What does he want to say? Oh, my goodness. Open your heart. There it is. <laughs> So you might have closed him off, closed off to him. He wants you to open your heart, guys, because he loves you. He has this extreme passion for you. It's almost like he knows you're meant to, to be together kind of thing. So that is your message for reading number two. I hope that's resonated. Please comment below if it has and like and subscribe and I'll connect with you next time. Hi, group three. If you chose the mythic tarot, we're going to have a look at what's going on for your divine masculine, what he's currently feeling. And we're going to look at the current energy first up, the overview of his current energy. What's going on? What's going on with his current energy right now, please? Current energy. Okay, commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. Let's have a look. What's this to do with? Oh, gosh. What's this to do with commitment for the Divine Masculine, please? 
Oh. Mm, King of Pentacles reversed. So we've got the Ace of Swords reversed, the King of Pentacles reversed, and the Lovers reversed. Okay. The, the feeling I get with this Divine Masculine, and I'm going to get some um, clarifiers as well, is that he can't see clearly right now as to how to give you a commitment. He can't see it. He's not ready financially. In his material world, he hasn't built himself up. He might have an issue around love. You know, we've got the Gemini energy here. We've also got uh, the, well, in these cards, it's the Taurus energy, I think. Oh, no, it's a Capricorn in this Mythic Tarot. doesn't matter, though. We've got Earth and Air. And basically what it is is that he can't see. He doesn't have the clarity right now. Oh, Ten of Swords. There's been an ending here, a very painful ending, and he can't see. And it might have been because he didn't commit might have been a, an issue around commitment for him and he's at this time feeling really pained trying to recover trying to see um the wrongs of his ways perhaps could be also for some of you that he's coming out of a third party situation right now he's coming out of a commitment the uh, cycle has ended perhaps for that for him we've got the eight of swords reversed coming out of a place of being entrapped this is very interesting because there's a decision or maybe the decision was made for him by someone else who might have been cut out of either this connection or another connection he's coming out from a place of um, delusions you know being delusional seeing things perhaps for how how they are meant to be um, yeah he's been cut out he's been cut out Okay, yeah, the Emperor, interesting. It's that very strong authoritarian type of energy coming through with that. And the Emperor is someone who's very committed. Could be an Aries you're dealing with. But the energy I'm feeling with this also is that not only is he extremely devastated and pained and not feeling like he has his... Um, Everything in his life sorted. He might have lost a lot, might have lost financially from a third party situation, person. Um, could be a karmic romantic partner from the past or someone he's just been involved with who might have taken him for everything. Um, but it's, well, what am I saying? Um, it seems like he's trying to get back on his feet right now and that he is starting to come out of a place of delusions um, right now regarding relationships and commitments and what they what they stand for he might be coming in with um very logical kind of um energy and about facts like he wants things to be factual he needs to know what he's moving into with you um it might be that you did have an ending and now he's not sure how he's going to um enter this again with you but it's interesting, the feeling that I have here with him is that he also feels like he was trapped in a connection. So whether it be with you and things were dysfunctional together um, or just, as I said, a third party situation where he just felt like he had to take a stand or had to leave that situation. There's, there's a recovery mode right now for him, though. So he is undergoing some um, healing and his empire was turned upside down. That's what it looks like here. So I just want to get another clarifier with this, please, for the King of Pentacles. Yeah, the moon. He's hiding his feelings. He's, he's really um, withdrawn. And there's confusion. Like, there's things that are hidden here. So it could be that there was a partner that he was with that could have been a cheating he might have cheated on you. This could be another uh, message for some of you. And if this doesn't resonate, choose another pile because this seems to be really focusing on a third-party karmic kind of situation here, guys. So there was a commitment, commitment to you, perhaps, and he had a commitment to another person and it's ended, but it could have been a secret around this. And you've taken your blindfold off you know, maybe it was that as well. There was a bit of denial at one point. 
Um, but also for him, he's realized he's had to take his blindfold off and, and really see himself for who he is right now currently stand in his power and take accountability for his actions that's what it looks like here guys so let's have a look then at um yeah what's what are we going to look at right here now i've got my paper next to me to see what's going on okay so what we need to see now is the current challenges what's blocking him or preventing him from coming forward to you well that could be a huge thing if he has done wrong by you that's a huge thing right there but let's have a look what's going on because either way whether someone kicked him out of the scene out of a relationship or if he's done that or if there's been some betrayal of some kind that's a huge challenge and, and block and there's a lot of pain he's undergoing right now he is feeling it so he's not feeling um, abundant, he's not feeling strong, he's feeling unstable. His um, power has been stripped of him. So let's have a look here. What's going on with the current challenges? Yeah, forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. He's finding that it's very hard to seek your forgiveness. That's what it looks like here. So this Divine Masculine did you wrong, but he also did someone else wrong. So what's the challenge, please? Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. The challenge is, <laughs> oh, goodness me, that he was invested to a point. You gave him a lot and you were invested. But, you know, this is a thing. He made his choice. We've got the justice, with, which is the two sides here to a story. And it's also the neutral objective point of view. It's also about legal stuff. It's the Libra energy. Someone who comes into wisdom. And I feel like what this is, is that you came into that energy and you cut him out. Hmm. It's almost like he has to face his karma. Because this card here is what you put into something. How much energy and effort you put into something to allow it to grow to full fruition. And he bailed on that. He allowed it to um, die. You know, he allowed the connection to die. It wasn't being nurtured anymore. So there's this black and white energy going on here, right? So what that means could be yin yang two stuff right now, but it's imbalanced. There's an unjust feeling to this and you're feeling cold towards this person because he did not respect your feelings. He did not respect the connection and it might have been that you gave him a second chance. It could have been that he, he came back to you or you came back to him after many years um, or whatever it might be. It feels like there might have been a reconciliation and that he stuffed up on that. You know, you, you gave him a chance and he stuffed it up. Because the Six of Cups is that nostalgic feeling. It's someone who is a soulmate. You know, this is a soulmate card usually. Someone who's reflecting on the past. And this is a thing, like, you might not be letting go of this past. You might be keeping him accountable for this as well, which is why it's hard for him to get this forgiveness from you. So let's have a look at his shadow self. What's going on? These are my shadow self oracle that I created. Let's have a look at what's going on with this within him right now. Because he's feeling really pained. He's feeling shut out. Um, it's like he made the wrong choice. He made the wrong choice, took the wrong action. Um... Okay, let's see. Argumentative. So instead of holding himself accountable and stepping up and being uh, transparent or um, what is it I saying there? Um, admitting guilt or admitting his wrongdoings, he's become argumentative with you perhaps arguing the facts with you what really happened and talking about the fine details you know or this didn't really happen and maybe playing it down 
Um, whereas you can see you've already pierced through to the truth. So you want him to just tell you what you already know, but you want him to tell you. You know, you want to hear it from the horse's mouth, basically. I think that's what you say. Aggression. So he's coming into aggression. So he's feeling like this aggression deep within. This is a challenge for him. Um, it's a challenge for him to um, come forward with his truth. And because you don't take him back or you're not allowing this next chance with him, uh, with you, then there's an aggression coming through with this as well because he's not getting his own way. Uh, that's what it feels like there. That's interesting, guys. So, all right, we'll have a look at the yin yang shadow oracle that I created, the, the messages of shadow and light. Let's see what um, shadow self, what does he want to say from his shadow self to you? So, I miss you so much right now. And wow. Facing my wrongdoings is too much for me right now. We just said that word before. This is just so in line with what's going on is that he can't face himself. He can't face his wrongdoings. It's too much to bear that he has done this wrong to you. Um, so surrender. What does he need to surrender to right now? What does he need to surrender to right now? does he need to surrender to surrender defensiveness this is that argumentative kind of uh, energy that's coming through defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response because he is just becoming defensive and has an answer for everything and it's like you just want him to, to be truthful be true um, surrender to spirit once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal turn the situation over to the divine let spirit work its magic for you so he's not and he's not allowing this connection to unfold beautifully and naturally and that um, he's not allowing the beautiful energy of spirit to come through and both of you have a higher self and it's about being able to also I feel he needs to cleanse his own spirit. The truth can bring you freedom. Um, the truth can free you, you know. So I feel like, um, as I say, the truth shall set you free. He's not allowing himself to bring in this light, not only to you and this connection and to your uh, spirit, but his own spirit. Um, he's not allowing spirit to come in. He's not allowing those lessons to come through. So he's shutting off to it. So, um, okay, so what does he desire? What does he actually desire from this connection with you? What does he desire to have with you or from this connection? What does he actually desire? What does he desire from this connection with you? Devotion. He wants you to be devoted to him, <laughs> but he also perhaps, you know, deep down wants to show you that he is devoted and was devoted to you in some weird way. I mean, in his mind, even though there might have been some wrongdoings there, which we can see there was, he might have made a wrong choice or has allowed someone to manipulate the way this relationship has gone down, um, wasn't strong enough to give you what you needed, perhaps just bailed out at the last minute when things were going strong. Uh, he wants to let you know that this is what he wants. Stay connected to the divine. Uh, pray, express your gratitude or ask for help out loud. Make the practice of devotion a daily habit. So it's it's like he wants to bring this in. Deep down, he wants this to work. He wants to um, have this help coming in together and expressing gratitude. He wants to express his gratitude to you for all the times you've been devoted to him as well. He wants you to know that he deep down appreciates this even though he doesn't express this and he probably never has you are the closest thing to the divine and he needs to surrender to spirit because once he does that he's surrendering to this connection and the mission that you have together as well so he wants this he wants this connection to be like devoted to one another that's what he wants um 
but it's like he just wants to jump into that without having to face all his stuff that he did wrong. <laughs> so it's kind of like he just wants a clean slate. Let's just forget about all the other stuff that I did. I can't handle facing it right now. Let's just get back to what we were doing where we're devoted to each other. Um, but that doesn't work like that in real life, you know. So um, he's got to understand that it's just not going to work. So let's have a look at the love message. What does he want to say to you? You mean more to me than you know. Mm, see, this is the thing, like, you probably felt like you weren't important to him at all through his actions and maybe his lack of emotion. Um, but he's saying deep down, you know, he, you are. You mean more to him than you know. So what higher self does he want to message, does he want to share? Wow. They came flying out, didn't they? I often think of the first time we met and I'm grateful you came into my life. There's that gratitude. Okay, so all I want to experience with you is balance and harmony. <laughs> oh, goodness me. This comes from this um, balance and harmony, which is what Libra stands for. Okay, so I have a clear direction of where things are heading. And thinking of you brings calm to my soul. So when they think, when he's thinking of you, when he's in his good place within himself, from his higher self, his beautiful spiritual self, you know, this is what he's feeling for you. I am learning to love myself because if someone doesn't love themselves, how on earth can they love anyone else? You know, they don't know how to love themselves. They don't know how to love someone else. So he's learning to love himself um, and perhaps even forgive himself for what he's done. So let's have a look then at the Radiant Oracle Self. This is a little deck that I created, a little mini deck, the Radiant, the Divine Radiant Self Oracle. If he was to talk to you about what he is, what his good traits are, what would he say to you? You know, where's he coming from? When he thinks positively about this connection and what he, what he really knows that he stands for deep within, besides all of the stuff, the stuff that's come from his shadow self right here. What does he want to share? Ooh, wowza. Oh my God. I am trustworthy. So deep down, you know, in his higher self knows that he has the ability. Well, he, he is trustworthy, but there's something that's tempted him or some kind of a lesson he had to fulfill to really learn a harsh lesson. Yeah, for his spiritual evolution and spiritual growth. That's what we have to do sometimes. Um, he says, I am blossoming. And I am balanced because we did see the balance coming through with the um, the energy before is what he wants to be is is balanced and have harmony and balance with you. What else? Just one more. There it is. Oh, there's two more. So I am loyal and I am analytical. So he's going within at the moment, really thinking long and hard about what he's done. It's like that naughty boy in the corner really taking time out to think, why did I, you know, the consequences of his actions. And he's coming to realize that, you know, we all have a light and a shadow side, guys, you know, because I know this person's done this to you, but there's another side to this person that does have these qualities. Yeah. And I mean, he has to had, had to have undergone those lessons to be a better version of himself. Now, what is the... Um, what else do we have here? Got the Divine Love Oracle. So let's have a look at this. What's going on here within him right now? He's really messed up. He really is. He's um, in a bad place at the moment. Within eight, within eight weeks. What's going on within eight weeks? Oh, wow. Sacred Sexuality. Now, oh my God, guys, this could be energetically or it could be physically between the two of you. And you might be like, what? Well, two months, a lot can happen in two months. But let's see, because there is a strong sexual chemistry between the two of you. Four of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So it's almost like he has been bored. He is feeling so depressed in his state of mind right now he's just lost without you 
you know, he wants to be devoted to you again. He wants this pathway to open up to you where you can start on a clean, fresh slate and get back to this beautiful energy that you had between you. You might have shared a very beautiful sex life before this all happened. Um, you know, it's not just lust. I don't feel it's just lust with this one. I just don't. I feel like he maybe went back to somebody uh, like an ex or was tempted by someone and made the wrong choice at the wrong time. Maybe you were having issues at the time. Not that, there's, not that that's any excuse, but I just see that there's been, that he was just um, tempted to veer onto another path and he feels so bad about this now. He really wants to come back to you in like, you know, two months from now, this could be happening. You might hear from him. It could be something that just happens between the two of you. Look inside yourself. He wants you to look inside yourself at the love you really do have for him. Um, you are the one I dream of. And you are the one. Oh my God. So he's really kicking himself right now. But he's got to learn that he has to look within and, and take him, you know, take, um, what am I saying? Hold himself accountable for his actions. He has to do the right thing by you. So let's have a look at some more messages here. Could be, you know, because we do have the sacred sexuality card that is physical contact. Um, as I said, it could be emotionally or energetically, but I definitely feel like for a lot of you it's going to be physical. And it could be by then that there is this talk that he does come forward. Everything you've ever said to me, I've taken to heart. Yeah, I mean, if you've come at him in a very strong way because of what he's done to you and disrespected the connection he's really taking time to think it over our love can power galaxies oh, he feels so strongly for you interesting that in this card here we have a galaxy kind of um you know look picture here so it says the taste of your presence it's something i will never ever be able to forget you know, when I see this card too, I feel like it's saying your essence as well, not just your presence, but it's your essence, it's your soul, it's everything about you that this person, you know, he is devoted to you. It's that one horrible thing that came to that crunch time, you know, everything happened around that, that past decision that he made, which has caused everything to come crashing down or an abrupt ending between the two of you. And it's like, well, I want to start again. This is what he wants. He wants to come back and, and start again. Let's have one last look at a message here. What does he want to say? I need you with me. Yeah, he really does. He needs you with him. So, guys, this is it. He's kind of like got a lot to go through right now. There's a lot of healing in himself to do and a lot of healing within you. There's, I don't feel like it's fully over between the two of you. It feels like there's a lot of unresolved stuff. You might need to go and get counseling together or something. There's a lot of unresolved stuff going on here that needs to be talked about and worked through. And, you know, I feel like um, he's got to learn to to come to terms with what he's done and... Once he can face himself, he'll be able to face you. That's what I see here. So if that's resonated with you, please comment below, like and subscribe. And I look forward to connecting with you next time. Hi guys, if you chose reading number four, we're going to have a look at your Divine Masculine's main energy. What's going on right now in his uh, space? What... what uh current energy is he right in right now let's have a look we'll have a look first up with the power of love cards what main energy is the divine masculine sitting in please this is for reading number four <clears throat> all right let's have a look ownership you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. Okay, let's have a look what that's to do with. What is he 
What is he taking ownership of or not taking ownership of? Let's have a look at what's going on. Oh, choose your battles. Moving on. And simply love. <clears throat> okay. Okay. This divine masculine is going through some emotional battle right now. He's trying to work out what he's going to pay attention to. What What is he going to try and overcome right now? You might be feeling quite defensive or closed off to this connection. We do have the Simply Love card reversed. And this is the Six of Cups, which represents soulmates. You know, it usually looks at um, going back into our childhood at the happier times. You might have known this person for a very long time. This Divine Masculine has been undergoing these emotional battles for a long time. And it seems to me like he's abandoning something right now. So can we have a look at what that could be? What is he not taking ownership of? You know, is that what's going on here? Because it looks like he's just giving up on giving up the battle and moving on as well. So is he not owning anything anymore? Is he letting it go? Four of Pentacles, letting go. This is someone who holds on too tightly to things because they're afraid of um, missing out or they're afraid of losing their possessions or it can be possessiveness, this one. It's interesting we're coming into ownership. You know, it can be very much about owning. Um, well, is he owning his wrongs in this? Was he holding too tightly onto his own pride, perhaps? We are looking at it reversed, though. It means that he's let go now. He's let go of something and is moving on. He's not opening to love, though. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Someone who's very patient and nurturing their, tending to their garden, nurturing and waiting for it to come to full fruition. And, you know, they're invested he isn't invested in this now. He's taken, he's taken uh, something that has been affecting him on an emotional level. Uh, regarding this connection, he's moving away from right now. <clears throat> All right, quite a few came out, but we will read them. Queen of Wands. And heartbreak. Here we go. Three of Swords. Could have been a karmic partner. He might be moving away from this karmic partner right now. There's some heartbreak here. And the Three of Swords um, doesn't always have to represent a third party. Um, but for some reason, it's something I'm picking up on here with the Queen of Wands. I sometimes see the Queen of Wands as the third party. Um, Let's have a look. So we've got the King of Pentacles reversed and the Two of Wands reversed. So he's definitely taken some kind of um, control here and has walked away. He doesn't want to be on the same path as this person. Doesn't see the same vision as this person anymore. And it's interesting because I feel like he's kind of walked away from this connection, but he's also walked away from this other connection. So it's just bizarre how that's coming up because usually it's one or, you know, either or. Um, but I see that he's not maybe giving a lot of attention to any particular love right now. We do have the Simply Love card reversed. Um, he might be off trying to find himself. He's put his guard down, he's, he's put his swords down basically, or his wands, you know, and he's, he's moving away from the battle. And it could have been that there was a battle of his, in his heart as to who to choose and who to go for, and it's kind of like he's left both of you. And so the King of Pentacles is someone who's very responsible. They're a king of abundance, someone who's got their empire that's completely built solidly. And they're chasing, you know, they've been chasing their dreams and building it up to this strong security. And it looks to me like he's he's not wanting or hasn't got it in his heart. It's not in his heart anymore to build this life with somebody. It's too hard, you know, and he might not be um, wanting to take ownership of his actions in this. He might just be letting it go, walk away. 
wiping his hands clean of this, you know, pain that he's caused, which is painful, you know, to you. Um, <clears throat> and if that's not resonating with a third party, it just represents that that's you he's walking away from at this time. Okay. So let's have a look at the current challenges then. What's preventing him from coming forward? Why is he moving away from this connection? What's going on? Oh my God, guys. The king of responsibility was the king of pentacles reversed. Here it is, see? He's not being responsible. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. He's not wanting to be aware of that right now. He doesn't want to go there with this right now. He doesn't want the responsibility of someone else's feelings uh, or of his actions. Uh, let's see what shadow self stuff's coming up here. These are my cards that I created, the Divine Shadow Self Oracle. Let's see what's going on with this. I just want to get the tarot out first. First of all, we'll just get the three tarot cards that I would like, please. For this, what... What challenges are preventing him from coming forward? Well, we've got the heart chakra. That one wanted to come out. The world reversed and the teach card. Yeah, he hasn't learnt about himself. He hasn't, um, he's not worldly in his heart space. He doesn't know. Uh, he hasn't received those heart lessons right now. He hasn't received the full... Um, download of information that he needs regarding the heart chakra. He might not be tapped into his heart chakra right now. He's not getting the lessons. <clears throat> and there's a lack of commitment here to um, the journey of love and the journey of his heart chakra. So the five of... Uh, the five, which is the Hierophant, is all about less lessons. It's about his values and his belief systems and what he needs to learn. What is his heart teaching him? What has this journey and this, what lesson has it brought him? Because he's not embracing it. We've got the world here. You know, he's not embracing this journey. He wants to walk away and just let it all go and be free of it. And, um, well, doesn't want to take responsibility for his actions. Why? What's going on here? What's going on within him? <clears throat> he's got dark thoughts. He's in a dark place. He's confused. And bully. So it could have been that he felt bullied into... could have felt that he was bullied to come back to you or to answer to you or the other person and so in this place he's just thought I just need to move away I just need to let it all go and that's why it's a challenge for him to step up to face his responsibilities because he has this darkness he has this confusion um, let's see what else is coming through yin yang what does he want to say what does he actually want to say from his shadow side right now to you Uh, I am trapped in my addictions. This could be his addictions with drugs, could be alcohol, could be work, could be going from one relationship to the other, could be sex, could be anything here. You'll know what it is, but he's trapped in it. Um, that came out weird. Uh, I don't know what you want from me or this connection. So this is that confusion coming through. So he's in a dark place in his addictions, he's confused, doesn't know what you actually want because he might feel in some ways that you've really railroaded him, <laughs> and I think that's the word, um, that you've come through and you've really, um, you've really wanted these answers from him in a very strong way. So he may feel that he's been bullied into answering to you or you know, it might not even be you. It could just be that these energies, everything that we give out is karmic. So anything that he's ever taken action with that has caused someone else hurt or anger or anything, it's going to come back to him. And it could be the energy that's bullying him as well, like coming in very harsh towards him where he feels like he's got to cower away and run away and not face up to his um, lessons, you know, the teacher. So other people are affecting our connection. Oh my God, there it is. There it is. 
that's the karmic stuff and it doesn't have to be romantic guys you know when i see karmic partners it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic but you'll know which it is sometimes our karmic partners can be our own mothers or parents or siblings or friends or work mates you know it's, it's all different stuff there mm. okay <clears throat> so what uh where am i up to what does he need to surrender to what does he actually need to surrender to? Because it just seems to me like he's made choices where he's just gone into connection and not put enough energy and effort into it and then just thought, this is too hard, I'm sick of fighting for this or I'm sick of fighting against this, I'm just going to walk away. Just let it all go. So what does he need to surrender to right now, please? Well, hang on a moment. Way too many there, but this one turned upside down. Surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. So something wasn't happening in this divine masculine's um, own, you know, timing. Like he, his own thoughts of timing. What am I saying there? I can't think straight. His own um, belief of when things were supposed to go, you know, in... in um, what am I getting there? I'm just I'm just feeling really lightheaded at the moment. Um, he's not grounded, that's for sure. And I'm, I feel like I'm tuning into his energy where he's lost for words because I can't speak. I can't speak and I feel like I'm in this place and it could be addictions because I feel like I'm lightheaded and dizzy. And it's almost like with him, he feels that things should have been in his own timing, let alone what you wanted and what you needed at the time. And he wasn't allowing for it to... Um, unfold naturally it's like he just gave up it before anything could really be uh, served between the two of you or be resolved what else does does he need to surrender to please surrender to play so he might be really serious now he's in a dark place right now take a break from overthinking a goal do something fun plays a time of rec recreation and rejuvenation so he's not getting outside he might be hiding away um, or might be spending too much time alone um, because there's something he's doing on his own that's not healthy and it just could be that he's sitting in his room all day just thinking or even if he's off working he's in his own space like he's not letting anyone in he doesn't want to want to deal with anybody he's feeling very down um, and it all comes down to divine timing so he's not allowing things to unfold in their natural timing as I said before um, he might be very rigid in his ways. He might think things have to happen at a certain time and he might just, um, and it's kind of hurtful because I feel like he just was a clean cut off, like was just so abrupt. You might not have even seen it coming. And it's just that, um, I don't know what he was sick of waiting around for. I don't even know what that's about. That, that confuses me, that part, because I feel like, um, I feel like there is uh, stuff that he needs to be held accountable for, that's for sure. Now, what have we got here? We've got um, the surrender. We've done that. What he desires from the connection. What, is, what does he desire? It's so weird. I'm feeling like I'm just not with it, guys. Maybe he's like detached or disconnected, like he's completely uh, in another dimension almost. It feels like he's so disconnected. He's not thinking straight. He's not seeing the world through, you know, normal bloody eyes. He's not seeing reality for what it is. That's how I'm feeling right now as I'm tuning into this divine masculine's energy. I'm just feeling, wow, you know, lightheaded. I'm, I'm evasive. I'm absent-minded. I'm emotionally unavailable. Like this is how I'm feeling right now is disconnected and withdrawn. So what does he actually want from this though? Deep down, what does he desire from this connection with you, what does he really desire? What does he really want? Right now, what does he want? Okay, so he wants gratitude. So he wants to really feel that gratitude. He wants to come into that energy where he is able to reflect on the things that were really good in this connection and, and the lessons that it did bring him. And, and when you were there for him, because I feel like he did come to you with a lot of issues feels like for a long time he might have been undergoing a lot of um, 
pain, a lot of stuff going on here that he hasn't dealt with. And it comes from a past, you know, it does come from that past of unresolved issues. And he wants to be thankful to you. So a grateful heart is like a magnet drawing toward a wealth of abundance. And I feel like when you were together and everything was beautiful, he really did have this gratitude in his heart for the love that you showed him because you might have showed him something that no one else could. Yeah, he wants to surrender to the connection. He wants to surrender to himself, like stop running away, you know. He wants to surrender to the light. Surrender is the key that unlocks the door to grace. It's that gentle energy, it's that light, it's that um, forgiveness coming through. And at the moment, he's even walking away from himself, let alone other connections and you. He's running away from himself, he's walking away from, it's like he's given up on himself as well. So, what's his higher self want to say to you? What does he want to say to you? From his beautiful 5D self, with, without all the suffering and the bad decisions and all that other stuff, the dark place he's in and the blocked heart chakra, where is he in his 5D self right now? What does he want to say to you? If I could do one thing right now, I'd give you the biggest hug. Yeah, he's feeling very alone. You know, he's pushed everyone out. I love how close we are in body, mind, heart and soul. Yeah, he is. Um, it's so weird, you know, because he is um, feeling so disconnected. But that might be even more of a void for him to realize that, you know, he really does miss that with you. I am transparent and true. I hold strong integrity and I know you can trust me. This is because, you know, this is his higher self talking. This is, as I said, we all have a shadow and light side. And when you met this person, you weren't um, seeing all that shadow stuff straight away. There was beautiful times together. A beautiful side came out in him. And that's what you saw and that's what you felt. And this is what he is. He is very transparent. He wants to hold integrity and he does normally hold integrity. But it's like things have gotten way too hard. There's too much pressure around him right now to be a certain way. And he can't do that. He just can't. He just can't take responsible, uh, responsibility for it right now. So what would he say to you from his radiant self? These are my little cards, mini deck that I created the Divine Radiant Self Oracle. So what would he say to you coming forward if he was wanting to put his best foot forward to you right now to let you know, look inside his spirit and see exactly what he is? What would he tell you? What would he tell you? Taking a little time to get out. Oh, hang on a moment. They want to fly everywhere. So it says, I am empowered. So that's that feeling of him at the moment giving up on himself. He doesn't feel empowered. He doesn't feel strong. He doesn't have confidence. But this is coming through saying, I am empowered. So, and the next one says, I am contemplative. So it's about him going within right now. Um, his light side, you know, once he comes out from that darkness into the light, this is what he may come into. And we've got, I am inspired. I am courageous. And I am fortunate. This is that gratitude once again for all the lessons that you've brought this person that you've brought him and he wants to be inspired enough to be courageous to come forward to you as well. So let's have a look at the divine love messages. No, the love messages, sorry. <laughs> These are the love messages. What would he like to share? Your beautiful face is always on my mind. So you know what? I feel like um, even in this space of him walking away and letting things go, you haven't left his heart, even though he's not opening, even though he's not opening it and trying to run away. You're still there. <laughs> so.
So let's have a look at what else he wants to say. We're looking at the Divine Oracle. What else can we learn about this, please? Because I just I feel such a strong sadness in him. I really do. Oh, look, he's picking up on your sadness. This is the sad Divine Feminine. Yeah, he feels like he's got to say goodbye. And he feels like you've said goodbye. Farewell. He wants a peace treaty. You know, the dove represents peace. It's a peaceful goodbye. Because he doesn't feel strong enough. He doesn't feel... He feels like he's pretty much done his dash. He's, he's got to walk away from this now. It's, just, it's really quite sad, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. See what else is coming up here. I desire you deeply and eternally. So as I said, there's this conflict of um, interest and feelings and conflict of his actions. What's going on? I feel like I've been missing you my whole life. You're my lost paradise. But he doesn't know how to bring it about. He doesn't know how to be strong on his feet and come back to this. He doesn't know how he can return to this. How do I get you alone? See? How do I get you alone? How do I make this right? How can I do this? He's so feeling helpless right now. I am drawn to your deep intelligence and wisdom. So that's what he feels too is that you have a very strong, it's not just physical and emotional, but you have a very strong um, mind. And there's this intelligence and wisdom and conversations that he misses having with you. I feel like you've taught him a lot. And it might have been that you had many deep and meaningful conversations and he's, he's thinking of that. So let's have a look at what else is coming up here. Where's the divine love messages from your twin flame soulmate? I created these ones as well. All right, what else does he want to say to you? Listen to your heart over what others say. So it could have been that you said goodbye because you might have heard a lot of stuff going on and you don't know what to believe. And he felt like he just couldn't fight with that anymore and he had to let it go. I really do care. And you are the one I dream of. So it does feel like there might have been someone else around... You know, in it could have been, could have been someone else that he chose or has walked away. I don't know. It's, it's just a strange message. All right, we've got, I miss laughing with you. I wish you were by my side. And I know you are my real soulmate. Oh, my God. So once again, this makes me think that there's someone in this divine masculine's life or it, there was and you had to say goodbye or he had to say goodbye because it just looks interesting. You are the one I dream of. I know you are my real soulmate um, opposed to maybe someone else. Um, it's like he's come to some kind of an epiphany even though he's walking away. He's had to move on because maybe you moved on. You Maybe you closed the door and then he had to. Um, but he's not, not fully over this. He's not over it. It's still in his mind. I feel like I've got to pick one more. I don't know why. Why? Why do I need to pick another one? All right, I need to pick another one, I'm being told. Is this what we had before? Your beautiful face is always on mind, meaning that you're always, he sees your beautiful face always on his mind. Do you even realize how amazing you are to me? That is just so beautiful. And I've just had this sudden urge. Oh my God. I just wanted to cry for a minute. That is just, oh, that was full on in my heart chakra. I think we had his heart chakra come up, didn't we? Before? Wow. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't feel this journey is fully over. He doesn't want this journey to be over, but he doesn't know how to 
come forward to you. He's in a dark place. He's confused. But he loves you. I can see this and he misses you. And he just has no idea how to navigate his way out of this, you know, um, tension and conflict uh, other than to walk away. So, guys, I hope this has resonated and given you some clarity. Uh, if it's resonated, please comment below, like and subscribe. And if not, please choose another pile. And I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and bless you.